What's up, Wisconsin? Cleveland. Ohio. You made honey mad. Delaware. My bad. I was trying to start this off with like, it, it got too, the vibe got too low. Just like, yeah. Welcome back to the Escape Podcast. Uh, today, of course, we have a new face. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Jack. Jesus. Welcome. Not Jack like is Jack. our new drummer. Howdy. I beat on shit. Mm-hmm. He does. He His does snare do says, beat me, daddy. <laughs> it really does. I have a question for you. So yeah. you're tattoos, right? Yeah. You Do you want to tell us about those? Do I want to tell you about my tattoos? Yeah, I do, actually. I've got a funny story about one. So I have, uh, I don't know if the camera can see it, so I've got a treble clef and I've got a cassette tape on there, and then that's my first tattoo, and it says Fuzz in Peace, and that was, it looks like it was done in somebody's living room, because it was. Uh, I have, I don't know if the camera can see those or not, but I have that one, and that one is, it's a, uh, it's a knife going through a rose, and it means, um, Life is harsh, but love yourself and others. Your love is harsh, but stay beautiful. And then that one is a skull with a bunch of flowers around it, and that is uh, beauty and death, and the flower going through the hand is growth and life. And then those are mushrooms. Nice. <laughs> and then I've got uh, I've got the moon right here on my chest, and then I've got um, some something. I don't know what to call it over here. And then so this one is supposed to be like the logo for like the branding for my music that I do my my Shroom Cloud logo but um I almost died getting that. Oh. Um so that one was also done in a living room. So that was one of two that was done in a living room and um I was going on some drinking binges etc and I was super dehydrated, hardly had any sleep and my friend was like, "I've got a tattoo gun. Let me give you a tattoo." Da 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 da. da. And he uh and I finally caved cuz he kept begging me and I was like, "All right, I guess I'll let you give me a tattoo." And so we got about halfway through it and um I start passing out and so he was like, "Okay, okay, I'll stop, but we need to get you some food cuz I hadn't eaten anything." And um so he gives me Pringles <laughs> and then leaves me unattended and I decide to lay down with Pringles in my mouth and then passed out while laying down, choked on the Pringles and he left me unattended and he came back and he said that like my skin was already like flushed and like my lips were turning blue and shit whenever he found me and so uh, like and I woke up and he had me like standing up and like was splashing water on me and uh, apparently I like almost died. Mm. But yeah, that's dope. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Do I died choking on Pringles? What flavor Pringles though? Uh, I they were s- ranch. Oh, that's worth it then. Yeah, I'd kill for some Pringles. Some Pringles. I have. You've killed for some Pringles? I'm not allowed in Idaho. Oh. You're not mixing, missing much. Probably. A lot of Mormons. And you know how we feel about Mormons on this podcast. We wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Man, fuck the Mormons. You want to talk about <laughs> albinos? You know what soaking is? Jeez, what is it? Okay, so Mormons, like you can't have sex before marriage, right? Okay. But there's a loophole. You can lay on the bed with the girl on top of you, and if you have your friend underneath the bed, they can, like, hit it up and down so that you're not technically having sex. It's called soaking. That sounds beautiful. And Mormons do it. I want to try it. I want to make that a part of my everyday life. Well, yeah, you have to have a really good buddy that can, like... Not it. Not it. (laughs) Dang it. (laughs) Not it. Not it. Canada. Oh. oh God. Anyways, uh how do you get the name soaking from that though? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, you were trying to change the topic, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was trying to get us away from soaking. Because you're not fucking, you're just soaking. You're you're just yeah. 
quotes of 2024. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't fucking, you're soaking. <laughs> it's better to come in the sink than sink in the cum. Oh, jeez. That is true. Yep. Anyways, um, anything interesting happened this week? Hmm, I know someone got a really cool tattoo. Yeah, didn't you get a tattoo? I did. I did get a tattoo. I got a, a roly-poly. Oh, wait. I'm kind of stupid. Roly-poly right there. Her name's Sheila. So, yeah. So I thought I thought you'd get a kick out of that name. But uh, Oh, that reminds me of another topic I wanted to talk about. Tragic heroes and like folklores and stories. Right. What do you think about the tragic hero? What's the tragic hero? It's a hero that like you know sacrifices everything for an outcome but they die before they see the outcome so they don't know if their life was worth it or not it's a hero who doesn't get the happy ending so that everyone else does <coughs> arthur morgan exactly the tragic hero yeah, yeah okay yeah so it, it's one of my favorite tropes and uh in red versus blue have you seen red versus blue Mm-mm. no no okay. but i've heard of it yeah well it, the very end, um, one of the characters, he becomes an AI, and he's the tragic hero. It's like he stops time, and he like sacrifices himself and splits himself into 12 different pieces so that his friends can survive a fight. So he gives up everything just so that they can keep going, but they won't recognize his sacrifice until the fight's over. Huh. But, I mean, it's a lot better if you watch the whole show. Because each season's like an hour long. I thought Red vs. Blue was a movie. I mean, it, it can be a movie if you like watch it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It's I've only seen the first few seasons of it, but... Yeah, that's why uh, Sheila's such a big deal. And there's a stupid character named Caboose. And he's, he's like an idiot, right? And <laughs> there's a, a tank. And he, of course, becomes friends with the tank. And he names her Sheila. He goes, Sheila. So, you know, that's the name of his guitar and now this tattoo. I, I think the guitar was named after the tank because my brother's friend actually named that guitar because it was my brother's guitar. You know, I haven't named my car yet. No? No. May- maybe I'll just, like, so we can just all, like, have something named Sheila. Oh, that works. Just just for the fuck of it. Yeah. Matthew's good at naming cars. Matthew, what did you name your first car? The Granny Slayer. The Granny Slayer. Because I hit two grandmas while I was I first got it. Grandma got run over by Matthew. <laughs> Grandma got run over by Matthew. And I wouldn't have gotten away <laughs> Coming with home from the kids. bar. <laughs> <laughs> At the Matt, age of 13. Matt, yeah. what, name, what name would you give my car? Oh. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I drive Goku. a you Grogu. I I drive a white Goku. beat up old Buick. Oh, Rogu, easy. You seen American Dad? He's Roger's tumor baby. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> he's he's kind of I like I love Rogu. But anyways, um, I see Matthews repping some new band merch. Yeah, it doesn't look it look doesn't look any different from the one from a while ago. I like wear the same shit over and over again. Like I <laughs> I've noticed looking back at the thumbnails, it's like hmm. I have a select few favorite shirts. Yeah, I'm wearing my new plot and you shirt from that same concert. We need to all go to a concert together, all three of us. I feel like that'd be a fun adventure. That would be. I'll sleep on the couch. Y'all can share a bed. Thank you. Do some Here. clickbait. We can all sleep in. The, we can we can just all sleep in the bed, just on top of each other. Not like on anything each other. that like no homo or just all just have a have a stack. Yeah. Or like face to foot, to face. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that works. Anyways, um. Think about that I don't. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. So what do you? For a surprise. What do y'all got? Any topics? Um, man, oh man. How's everybody's like life going on? How's work and shit like that? How's everything? 
don't get me started, bro. Let's hear it. Get started. I'm losing my mind up there. Um, one of the detainees came up to me, and I'm a detention officer, right? I deal with a lot of immigration cases, so a lot of people who speak Spanish or Farsi or French, Chinese, all that stuff. One of them comes up to me after I've been there for a couple hours, and he goes, Sir, can you change the, the TV, please? Yeah, he's like, thank you. It's been a, it's been on, I don't know, Hispanic TV, and I just I don't know what it's saying. And then he's like, he started complaining. He's like from England. I can't do an accent, right? But he's from England, and he's saying, complaining how they always have a game going on. I said, I know, right? Like they always have, like some big cup that's going on, and and you know soccer. And they're like, oh, you can't turn this off. I have to watch the game. It's like there's always a game going on. Like there's, a, there's always something, and it doesn't matter. It's not entertaining, right? I'm losing my mind. And uh, this one guy was working out, like a white Asian guy, right, Asian. He's like six foot three, jacked, absolutely jacked. I go up to him like ten minutes before my shift is over. I go, uh, habla inglés? He says, yeah, I speak English. I'm like, oh, okay, good. <laughs> Thank God, because that's all I had. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like that's all I know how to say. And uh, he said, yeah, I speak English. And so I said, dude, your arms are massive. Like, what is your workout routine? And he laughed, and he started, like, telling me his workout routine. But, like, I'm just thankful that he spoke English. Because yeah. <laughs> if not, like, I, I tried starting conversations. I'm like, habla inglés? And they're like, no, habla espanol. And I'm like, Okay, okay. And I just give him a thumbs up and walk away. But you know that's that's job. pretty fucking bold for you to go up and be like, "Habla inglés," because it gives them the idea that you speak Spanish, but you'd rather uh-huh. speak yeah. English. Yeah, <laughs> they go, "Habla español." I just go, "Poquito, poquito." I, I can't <laughs> tell you how many bit. times I fucked up by going up to somebody like somebody that is Hispanic and being like, "Cómo estás," and then they're like, start going off. I'm like, "What yeah. the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah you started that one. That happens at work. Like, they'll, like, walk up to me and be like, just say this long sentence in Spanish. I go, no habla espanol. And they're like, ah. <laughs> And then walk away. I'm like, dude, I'm white. Like, look at me. You see how white I am? There's no way I speak Spanish. Like, I'm learning a little bit. I know camas is beds, right? So there's that. Lapis is pen. I'm learning, right? Papel, paper. I don't know. I thought lapis meant pencil. Bolsa is bag. Maybe. Yeah. Um, Bastille is soap. Gringo is you? Yeah. It's okay. We're all gringos here. All the native Spanish speakers that are watching this, like, stop butchering my fucking language. (laughs) Yeah. You know where they got the term gringo from? Where? So apparently during the um, Mexican-American War, um, so we wore green, right? And we were in their land, and they kept saying, green, go home. Green, go home. Mm. So it was green, go. Yeah. Is that actually true? Yeah. That's, that's really interesting. You know, polo horses used to be called polio horses because they used them whenever uh, people had polio. They used them as service animals. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made that up. <laughs> you fucking suck. <laughs> Look, I was into it too. Did you know dinosaurs built the pyramids? Oh, we talked yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah. Y- they used a uh, um, oh, a brontosaurus. You know, one of the long neck boys. Oh, I remember this conversation. <laughs> the now. Long sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I don't think I knew my dinosaurs. Okay, I have a question for you. What yeah. would you do if you had an you know what an anky is right like an ankylosaur? Okay, what is a dinosaur that you know? Uh, stegosaurus. Okay, what would you do if you had a stegosaurus charging towards you? Can I tell you what I'd do? What? Depends on how horny I am. Oh, man. I might just, like, strip down and, like, accept him. Oh, man. I'm just saying, I mean... Did you just gulp? <laughs> <laughs> what? Matt starting or not? Matt, why? Why is starting a trend called dinosexual? Yeah, I'm just saying, man. 
Do you get to pick out the color to put on the flag? Yeah, uh, dude, I think I do. Yeah. Right? Yep. I'm just saying, if we weren't meant to have sex with dinosaurs, so like, then yeah. why are they so hot? It's like yellow. why am I sexually attracted to them? It, it's like yellow and green with like a like a five year old's doodle of a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my doodle of a dinosaur. It looks like a five year old did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's probably a thing already, and we're like ruining a whole community. Dinosexual? Yeah, dinosexual. There's got to be a better name for it. Mm, I think that one's good enough. Dinosexual. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of like the rabies pride flag? You know, that's the thing. Rabies pride. People were on purpose, give themselves rabies because they identify as having rabies. So they'll give themselves rabies on purpose and be like, guys, I did it. And then like post to the community. It, it's the thing. They have a, a whole flag and everything. That's crazy. They give themselves rabies, bro. I'm on the fence about what you're telling me, man, because the last time you said something that you said was factual. It wasn't. <laughs> the polio horse? <laughs> hey, man. No. I don't think a person with crutches should be, like, riding a horse. No offense. I mean, you can. If that's your dream, go ahead. I'm sorry. But. <laughs> yeah, we got to be PC. And instant, I'm just instant saying, here. dude, how are you going to get that thing to go if you can't move your legs? You can't spur Ask it, it politely. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I'm I missed something. I was. Are you watching Minecraft right now? No, I was actually <laughs> looking at the the tech stuff. I was looking to see about something, but I blanked out. I'm sorry. Hi, I've got ADD too. Uh, <laughs> hi, I have ADD. Yes. Addicted yes. to dick. Yes. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for clarifying that. I didn't want no one to get confused. A dangerously huge donkey. ADHD. My photo. You know my you know what my favorite activity is? Like my favorite like Sunday nothing to do activity. Moon Goonin. You put on you put on a suit and you go downtown and then you just like people think you're a lawyer. And then they'll just come up to you and start asking you, like, bullshit, like, business questions. And then you just give them, like, the worst guidance you possibly can. I mean, that's smart. I did have somebody downtown ask me if I was a lawyer when I was dressed in a suit one time. <laughs> no, I was just applying for a job. Yeah. What job was it? What? What job was it? Oh, that was uh, that was when I went for that the the AT and T sales thing. Oh yeah. I'm now I'm now on my fourth job since January. Well, stuff happens, man. It'd yeah. be like that. I think they pass out ribbons. What? I think they pass out ribbons. <laughs> pass out ribbons for what? Yeah. No, but you're steady now, yeah. Steady. Like you've got you got a good spot right now, right? No. To everyone. Oh well, yeah. I've got a I've got something decent that I'm starting, but I'm not steady. No. Oh yeah. It'll allow you to be steady. Yeah. I just want to point out real fast that this is our third streaming location. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Why do you want to tell us about that? Um, I bought a house. Yeah. So, that's been a thing that's happened. Now we come moonshot for him. No, we practice in my garage, so if you can call it a garage, so the That's shed, the shed, yeah, shed garage, the <laughs> trudge, trudge. What would you call a kitten sheep hybrid? <laughs> a shark, shat, <laughs> a shat, <laughs> a shitten. <laughs> I was gonna say, God damn it! I'm just saying. I don't know, man. Stuff's wild, bro. What would that even look like? Well, like is it mainly <laughs> sheep or maybe? Hey, cow? give me three months and I can show you. Scatter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. Just give me enough time, give me the resources, and I'll create an abomination that God hates. You'll be the modern day Frankenstein. That's what my parents said. Give me time, give me the resources, and I'll create an abomination. I'm sorry. (laughs) 
Anyways, right. therapy's going well. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> what were you saying? I was going to cut to commercial just so you can, you know. Com- you got you got a sponsor for us today? Raid Shadow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but M- Matt, what's uh what's our sponsor? Hymns.com. <laughs> you have trouble getting it up? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'll be the first to tell you at hymns.com. They have blue chew and I almost said vagicil. That is not <laughs> what they sell. Today's uh today's sponsor is uh Plan B now in family size. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, um have you there's a- off brand Plan B called Take Action. Risky stuff, bro. It's 10 bucks cheaper, but I I'd be taking the risk. You know in my last couple of years as a musician, I've always thought about, like, before playing a show, like, about 30 minutes before playing a show, like, just, like, take a, like, just take, like, like a Delta gummy and then <laughs> pop a fucking, uh, Gas an, af- an aphrodisiac with it, yeah. Yeah. And then just ride it out, play the show, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> well, you know, you know what I do? Uh, you were talking about good activities to do on a Sunday. I like to personally show up at CVS first thing in the morning yeah. whenever everyone comes in to buy Plan B. Yeah. And I buy the last one on the shelf so a 16-year-old girl can't have it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I eat it That's right in front of her. <laughs> 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 she can't have it, dude. I watch her cry. I watch them, like, sob and be like, you know what you just did? You just ruined me. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, there's another CVS across town. I race them there. I get my I get my Miata. I race there. I go to the next one. I buy every single package and I wait for them. And then they show up. I'm like, you know what this is? You know what? And then I I just put the whole thing in my mouth. What happens when a man takes a Plan B pill? Nothing good. <laughs> Nothing good. He I give birth out of my anus. <laughs> I am so sorry. It has the opposite effect, and you somehow become pregnant. Yeah. Dude, I told you earlier, I'm afraid. If it goes back inside, I'll get pregnant. Yeah, talk about why it has a mysterious belly button theory. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? If if you're <laughs> jerking the ween <laughs> and you're <laughs> laying down, right? Okay, you're laying down, you're jerking the ween, you try to land it in your belly button. Like that sounds like, like something that would be cool to brag about right but I'm, I'm afraid to try it because i'm afraid that it's gonna shoot up and then go back in and i'm gonna get pregnant that's a reasonable fear though yeah it, that is oh my god auto pregnancy yeah oh my god what, 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 what is that called what is that called asexual reproduction yeah, yeah. i cracked the code guys cracked the code anyways i'm six months pregnant <laughs> You're not really showing that much either. Yeah, well, it's not coming out of my stomach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the second podcast in a row where I'm not wearing pants. So that's why I keep glancing down. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm wearing absolutely nothing. I I keep. I don't know. I'm making it jump. But uh, I just want to point out that uh, Jack Daniels here is wearing shorts. I'm wearing I'm wearing jorts. He's wearing jorts. How many times have you worn those to the gym? How many times have you seen a person go to the gym in jorts? None yet. I haven't oh, you haven't worked out with Taylor, Taylor then, man. I, I haven't. Yeah. I don't like. I don't have any other pair of shorts. We so should like, all three go and wear jorts. We should. Yeah, dude, we should go tonight. We should Tonight? go to the to the yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I don't think Matthew's up for it. Yeah, no, I, I would another pass. night. Hard pass. Uh, do you have to work tomorrow? Oh yeah. Lame. What a wonderful world. bitch. I don't. I'm a bum. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Got me Not there. Really. I have the next two days off. I'm waiting for background checks to go through. Oh yeah. 
I got a message from another ice person, and uh, you know medication, right? Like you're familiar with some medications like uh, antidepressants and like yeah, Adderall uh, and stuff. Yeah, oxcarbazepine, Vyvanse. Yeah. Is Vyvanse? Uh, uh, I think that's an anxiety thing, ain't it? Vyvanse yeah. is yeah, ADHD. AD, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Imiframine. Um, what what's the other one? Uh, I don't know. What about it? Anyways, <laughs> um, so I was talking to my ICE background investigator, and they uh, like they asked me what medication I took, and I was like, oh, I you know I told them medication I used to take. I said Lexapro, and they're like, oh, and you took that for ADHD? I said, no, Lexapro is an antidepressant. And they're like, oh, okay. So I get a text message or an email from some random guy, and he's saying like. Hey, I need all your military documents so that I can clear you and you have 10 calendar days to do it or else you lose your job. So I I messaged him back and he said uh yeah, he said, "Okay, so I ha- it says here that you took Lexapro for ADHD." I said, "No, Lexapro is for depression." And then I I tried to get back to him and I said, "Where would you like for me to send the documents? Like, would you like for me to fax them or send them over email?" No response. And it's been like 5 days. So honestly, if I lose my job, screw it. Hey, come to USG. Yeah, do something else. Wait, were you in the military? I had a medical discharge. But he was. How, how long were you in the military? Like a month. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Still props to you, man. Think about it every day. You know, I looked at I looked at that tattoo on your arm. For some reason, it registered as like like a transmission instead of a uh, like yeah. It is is it? Yeah, it's a gear shift. Yeah, it's a gear shift, but an AK. Okay, okay. So I did see it right. Yeah, it's a gear shift and then a heartbeat. Yeah, because then I noticed that was an R, and I was like, oh, it is. It yeah. says yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I got that um, right before I went to a, a Bad Flower concert with Matthew here. And a lady came up to me, and I lost Matthew in the crowd somewhere, but this lady came up to me. She was drunk. She said, oh, do you work in the like the medical field? I said, no, I work at a grocery store. She's like, oh, you just, you have that, that tattoo right there. Like, the one of a, a gear shift? Like, a mechanic? She's like, yeah, so I thought you worked in the nursing field. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, you People can't, are wild. You can't call her crazy for a I mean, I get it, but yeah. crazy. I don't know. She was fun to talk to. I was crazy I was once. Crazy. <laughs> Locked me in a room. No, nobody said anything yet about the fact that I'm wearing a shirt of a of a Abraham Lincoln holding a U.S. flag. I was waiting for someone else to bring rags. it up. Yeah. Oh, I just figured it was part of the American lore. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, he did do that. Abraham Lincoln wrote a T-Rex in a battle? It's canon. Yeah. Just like... George Washington drove a Dodge Charger into battle. Yeah. I'm just saying, dude, you know how terrifying it would have been to, like, go against George Washington in the war? In the fake teeth? Mm-hmm. The yeah, wooden I mean, teeth? dude, he was, like, actually, like, six foot four, six foot three. No way. Yeah. A six foot three ginger who's freaking jacked. Like, imagine that, like, whoa, running whoa, towards whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, 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 a ginger. Yeah, he was a ginger. We're talking about George Bro, Washington that's a wig. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, he wore a wig. George Washington? Yeah. Yeah. That what was a wig. Fuck? He was a ginger. It's all those fucking white haired dudes. Yeah, it's they're, a, they're all it's those a powdered, are all powdered wig. wig, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't think he was actually ginger. Yeah, he was ginger. Yeah, we were doomed from the start. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> mm. I don't know, man. Gingers, right? Who needs them? Wait. Yeah, who needs ginger? <laughs> I had Someone to make sure. call me a ginger. Yeah, I, I had to make sure real fast that you weren't a ginger. Some, some, some call me strawberry blonde. Somebody call some, some call me a ginger. I'd call you cursed. I'd, yeah, I don't think you're a ginger. I don't either. This sounds just like you. some type of mental slur at this point. I'm not gonna yeah. call you a ginger. You fucking ginger. <laughs> Get out of here. Ginger. This is this is blondes and uh, this is blondes only. Get out of here, you fucking ginger. 
can rearrange the letters. Ooh, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I get it. <laughs> Wait, this what? <laughs> rearrange the letters of ginger. Uh, <laughs> anywho. Oh, no, 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 We no, didn't no. say that on this podcast. We just applied it. <laughs> some some people get it, some people Rinning. won't. Oh, I said it, guys. <laughs> I said I said it. <laughs> renegade. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Do you, do you remember Fortnite? Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Pass. I just shit out my ass. Booted up the PC so I can get me. I feel like I'm back in the 30s. Fortnite Battle Pass. I could fall asleep to this. <laughs> you think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Thank hearing you. about the Fortnite Battle Pass. Oh, I have more I can say. What do you need me to say? Whatever comes to your mind. Um, They actually have a new season, apparently, that came out. You know, I don't keep up with it, but my siblings do. You know, my brother and sister. And uh, it's Greek mythology. So they actually have Icarus. I think they made Icarus a woman. I don't know. Kind of weird. But, I mean, yeah, there's Icarus and then other Greek idols. So that's kind of cool. I th- I thought it was Legos this, this car. When I fucking got on it last time, I, I had a Lego character for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's just something that they added for mm. fun. But that's not the, the season of the theme. I played, like, one the game, season. dude, and I was just like, eh, I'll go back to whatever I was doing. Gears of War, yeah. probably, yeah. Good game. I suck at it, though. No, you got a kill. I'm pretty sure I watched you get a kill. I got one kill. I ruined your KD. Better than... I don't care about it. Better than none, though. Yeah, I guess. What about you? What's your favorite song? What's my favorite song? (laughs) (coughs) Ramp Ranch. Okay. Ah, shit. Here we go again. (laughs) Dude, should we tell the story about what happened at Denny's? Yeah. None of us can go back to that, Denny's. I wouldn't say we couldn't. I mean, no. it probably just, they'd be a lot less, like, um, nice. I went to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the gym the other day. And I saw this old man, and he uh, bent down to pick up some dumbbells, and his flesh chandelier fell out of his pants. So that was kind of gross. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Dude, we went the other day, or, or probably a few weeks ago, whatever, and like we hit the sauna, and then we came out, and then there's this dude just like, hey, free balling, you know? The naked old man? I, I, I don't know if it was old or not. I that was when pure. you and Brandon went, right? Mm, I don't remember, dude. I just remember that happened, and I'm like... <sighs> Because there's an old man who likes to free ball it. I thought it was with you, Taylor. No, I don't remember that. Uh, by the way, it happened, and I, uh, I don't know. I don't think going to there at three o'clock in the morning is the best choice anymore. Mm-hmm. Man, I went to the nursing home and I saw that shit on the daily. Did they ever have sex with each other? Was that a problem? Not Why that, that I question? <laughs> I don't. Well, no, yeah, because there's there's some places where like nursing homes are like nesting grounds for yeah. uh, VDs and STDs. I figured it like, would be. It's uh, yeah, I, not here. I don't really? think, but no. But most people at the nursing home I was at, like the majority of them, were either bedridden or like in a wheelchair. Oh, so, yeah. it's you think any of them were bug chasers? Were what chasers? Bug chasers. Have you not heard of that? No, what's bug chasing? Oh, I, I ruined myself, so y'all get to hear it. Because you brought up the, the thing about STDs and stuff. So there's like a there's a forum online and stuff like that where people will meet up and they'll try to give and contract as many as they can. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah that's what I figured it was. Is it okay? I heard that from Wendigoon. Yeah, you're from Wendigoon on its conspiracy theory. Oh, Wendigoon, of course, bro. I still can't get over the fact that he made two grown men cry on a podcast yeah. that I listened to. I don't remember what podcast it was, but he made them start to cry with the story he was telling. Wait, who? Some YouTuber Wendigoon. 
You gotta watch him, man. He's he's great. Yeah, I heard him in a podcast I listened to. Do yeah, you guys like guest star? Do you guys like Penguin Zero? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Matthew loves penguins. For the most part, yeah. Just some of his stuff that he does, like he just covers a lot of drama sometimes. And I don't watch half the videos, but sometimes it's like people that deserve it, you know. Yeah, he talks shit and it just kind of puts them in their place. I like his little references that people like clip. It's like, yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> I love it. Do you do you guys remember when he got the backlash for de- for uh, for defending iDubs? No. no. What was he defending iDubs for? Uh, I don't know, cause iDubs said something, and he was like, he has nothing to apologize for. Uh, he said a slur or something, okay. but you know, like if you know the whole backstory for iDubs, it's like, I don't know, dude. Have you know. heard? He's become like a really sensitive guy. Who iDubs? Yeah, well, apparently, from what I heard, he had cancer and thought he was going to die, and that's why he was acting the way he was acting. Oh. Yeah. And I've had some shit from, like, people who thought, who had cancer at one point, thought they were going to die, and was, like, doing some offbeat shit, and then yeah. they figured out they weren't, and they were like, oh, fuck. Like, in a bad sense of way? Like, they said, screw it, you know, I'm going to die anyway, no, so I'm just causing us havoc? That's a, that's a story for later. No, but I mean, like, he, uh, there's this, uh... <laughs> old rapper, I guess you can call him, who was kind of popular in the early 2010s. His name was Froggy Fresh. Really? Yeah, and he made, like, stupid songs, but they got popular. Have you ever heard of Subway Sexist? No. But anyways, <laughs> really quickly. Um, but yeah, there's been, like, YouTuber boxing matches, and Froggy Fresh was supposed to go against iDubs. Froggy Fresh is five foot four, and iDubs, you know, is pretty tall. But they were supposed to box against each other, and, you know, everyone's talking trash to each other. It's normal. Idubs is talking trash to Froggy Fresh. Froggy Fresh brought up how his uh, Idubs wife has an OnlyFans and called Idubs a c- cuck, and Idubs kicked him out of the competition. Oh, fuck. He was that sensitive about it that he kicked out his opponent after Idubs talked trash, talked all this mad trash. Froggy Fresh said one thing back, and Idubs got salty and kicked him out of the competition. Oh, damn. He's yeah. a cuck. Bro, have you heard that thing about Sneeko? I was watching a video on Penguins, like, his people that he's taken down. And Sneeko, he did, like, the exact same thing. He was like, oh, yeah, really? let my wife just kind of do whatever. And then he's, he, like, admitted to being a cuck. He's like, oh. <laughs> I, like, I remember that shit, too. <laughs> I don't know, man. And then they started <laughs> showing off guns and stuff like that. And Sneeko, he's like. I've got I've got my clips with me. Got my clips with me, and then penguins is like, mm-hmm. "You fucking retard! This is not a clip. This is called a mag." <laughs> just like, and he pulls out a giant ass AR, and he's like, "Like just like this is called a mag." You know? <laughs> yeah, I had fun shooting the other day with y'all. That, that was, was good. Fun. That was good band yeah, bonding. That was my first time shooting a shotgun. How'd that feel on your shoulder afterwards? That wasn't bad. It was fine. I mean, I was like a few hours after where I was afterwards, like my shoulder was a little bit tender. I get it, especially after you're like the first time in a long time it'll do that. Yeah. But it was honestly not as bad as I remember it being. Mm. But I don't know. I, I like I like guns. I like shooting guns. Yeah, guns are cool. Yeah, guns are cool. Got the new forty five. My dad got one. My oh. grandpa went out and bought my dad one. Hell yeah. So have man you, shit. Have you uh Sorry. stripped it, like field stripped it or anything like that? Was it is it no. field or is it tactical stripping? Like where you just disassemble the whole gun? Yeah, I can't remember I mean the term. Dis- disassembling, I guess. Oh. I don't know. I don't know the term for it. I mean you're probably right. I I can't because I know there's like only doing part of it to where you clean like the main parts and then oh, this one yeah. where you take it all the way apart. I think field stripping is taking it apart just to clean it a little bit and then tactical is completely. Ah, that that could be wrong on that me. though. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you done that to any of your guns yet? Um, just my revolver. But that's that's been it. It's like twenty one and up Legos. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Pretty much. So it's pretty fun, but how long did you want this podcast to go for this time? We're nearly at 40 minutes. 
Yeah. I mean, we can do whatever, whatever. We can do another 10 minutes. Yes, let's ramble about incoherent shit for another 10 minutes. We can do that. We can push an hour. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. I know know Maddie's not feeling too good. I mean, I'm I'm like here and then not here, and then she's like, you know what? I'm here. Yeah, I get it. I guess. Yeah. It's, It's like a mindset thing, I guess. Yeah. But then again, I do feel like shit. Yeah, so let's just do another 10 and then call it. Did you know... One five out of six people would say Russian roulette is safe. What? <laughs> five out of six people would say Russian roulette is a safe game. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know you're more likely to win a game of Russian roulette with a semi automatic gun than win a crane game? Okay, how do you define win in Russian roulette? Is it like winning? Staying alive? Or staying winning? alive. With a semi automatic <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just every shot is a shot. Every time you pull the trigger, it shoots. So you can't win. And those Russian carnival roulette. games are fucking. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> He's got a point at this point. What's crane game? Oh, like a crane. You move That's the because they fucking down. rig them. Yeah, exactly. Like the one at Denny's, that one is rigged. Yeah, I tried to win a squish hey, on that one. Hey, easy with the hard R. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's egged. <laughs> it's yeah, or just like rig, rig. Just not so rig on that. Yeah, shit. you you really put rig. emphasis on it. Have you seen that clip of like? Do you watch Soup on YouTube? Soup, soup. You or like over here watching videos of, like a bowl of soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he's like, man, that soup's cooling down. Oh, pretty dude, quick. the creamy it's chicken. Nice. Oh yeah. And no, anyways, there's a there's a video of him playing a uh, Rainbow Six. And he drops the the gay slur really hard because he goes you effing and then like just yells at, he's like I'm sorry <laughs> like immediately after he says it he goes I'm sorry yeah soup is amazing yeah Gucci belt on when I'm Not my m- sister yeah this is a song I didn't come up with that talks about incest a lot there's one clip, like, he likes uh, trolling people and, like, GTA, like, roleplay servers. And he was doing one, and he was, like, trying to rob a store, and someone's, like, saying, like, oh, you're breaking roleplay, you're breaking roleplay. And then, uh, so this woman tases him, and he, he said, ma'am, your coochie smells, please get it away from me. And, you know, he has a southern accent. She said, I, don't, I bet you don't even know what a coochie looks like. He says, I'll have you know I have a very generous sister. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Dude, have you seen his prank call videos? Oh, those are so good. They're, they're amazing. He like he said something, and someone said like something in gibberish just about, and he said, "What spell did you just put yeah. on me?" <laughs> Jeez. What kind of spell did you put on me? I think I've <laughs> Take seen. Take it back. I, think I know what you're talking about. Now. And <laughs> there's I've seen the prank call videos. I think, but I think I have seen those. One of my favorites is uh. He was playing a game, and some guy called him and talking about his car's extended warranty. It's like he, he's going along with the whole thing. He said he drives a 2016 F-150, and it's white and, like, all this stuff. And he's answering, like, how many miles are on it and, like, down to the exact number. And he's like, okay, and uh, do you do anything that seems, like, risky with the vehicle? Like, anything that you feel like you should have extra insurance on? He said, yeah, sometimes I almost drive it off the road when I'm making out with my sister, and the guy <laughs> hangs up immediately. <laughs> so he was on the phone for like 10 minutes with this guy until he says that, and that guy just hangs up on him. I miss prank calls. Oh, I know. Now there's caller ID. Yeah. Sucks. And like law enforcement. They always threaten that. They won't never do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? My number is blocked at a La Quinta in New Mexico. <laughs> What'd you do? I don't remember. We, <laughs> me and it was a wild my night. Buddy, we pissed them off. We like we were on the phone with them for probably near an hour asking about like like pet like pet allowance. I bring my. How much money do they make in a month? What? 
Nick Lachman. No, 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 not like a lot. I don't know. What it's <laughs> like. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> the pet policy. Pet allowance. Yeah. Yeah. Can I bring my beard to Dragon in? <laughs> <laughs> I swear he won't cause no harm. He's a good feller. He's good. You scratch my, his belly my, and he. My howler monkey. Oh, you know my okay. cat Chip, right? Apparently, it's a boy. What? My cat Chip. Apparently, it's a guy. Okay. I didn't know that. I took him to the vet because I told him, like, I don't know, like, sometimes I'll be playing with <laughs> his nipples and. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend. I, I stole this joke. It's not real. But this guy was saying that uh, he uh, would play with his cat's nipple and uh, milk would come out. And he's like, oh, well, my cat's not pregnant. So like, he took it to the vet and they're like, sir, your cat's a male. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonderful. I swear I don't play with cat nipples. I'm just ruining everything, every chance that I have in life right Everything's now. Everything's sacred. Everything's sacred. Yeah. This, is, this clip right here is going to pop back up on you in 10 years. Do you, you remember when you said it? This? Yeah. <laughs> Sir, do you remember saying, I play with cat nipples? <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> on the internet for everyone to hear for the rest of eternity. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm, I, can't, I can't quite recall. <laughs> I think you got the wrong guy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You remember when you said rigged real hard on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> remember when you made fun of gingers and how God hates gingers? Oh, I mean. No, I'm just, yeah. You kind of got a point there, though. That's complexionist. Well, if they didn't want to be loved, they wouldn't be ginger. Church, man. Church. <laughs> Fuck albinos. I hey, have a man, cousin who's that's albino. A that's a fine line, man. It's a fine line. That's what I. That's my joke to like make my like like make fun of racism because I say that and people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's how stupid that shit sounds." What fuck albinos? Yeah, because people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's how <laughs> stupid racism sounds." So I have stop. An albino cousin. You know what she did? She dyed her hair orange. Oh no! And then wears blue contacts. She has her own photography studio. I don't know where, though. Some other country. Not country. State. Maybe another country at this point. I don't know how Germany? She's popping off. Yeah, maybe Germany. She's popping off. Getting the big dubs. Yeah. Doing the tilted tower dance somewhere. <laughs> You said we were having an ASMR session. Oh, yeah. Getting a little deja vu. 